Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Tiffany and I'm currently trying to contain my excitement because today is a momentous day. I'm about to become a mother, I'm about to leave home to go and pick up my new kitten today. I'm beyond excited, I just, I actually just can't, I can't even like, I can't form a sentence in the English language right now. I'm so excited to get my little ginger kitten. He's about eight weeks and yeah, let's, let's get ready to go. I'm about to grab everything to go. It's crazy. I bought, this is like one of the first things that I bought for him. Oh yeah, by the way, my kitten's a boy. Um, and yeah, it's so weird to think I'm actually, he's actually going to be in here soon. So I got this carrier from Pets at Home. It zips on here as well as like the clips there. And then I've got this nice furry lining, which I don't know if you can see, it's quite dark. There we go. It's got this nice furry lining. I saw somebody else's um, bringing home a kitten vlog and they said to put like puppy pads in there in case they like wet themselves on the way home. So I'm going to do that as well. And then take his little blanket that I got from Ikea. Yes, I need to cut the label off of that. I'm thinking I'm doing like a quick pets at home trip before I go to get in just to stock up on a bit more litter because I only got one bag and then when I did my last online order it wasn't in stock online so I'm gonna go to pets at home grab some more litter get some spare food start to stock up on that as well although I've seen that the food is cheaper on Amazon but just to have some just more at home today I've got um wet food but I just want to stock up on a bit more dry food as well and Pets at Home is around the corner from me, but yeah. I'm just like, my mind is like running a mil million miles per hour now because I've been preparing for this day, but now he's actually coming, it's like so surreal. I'm gonna show you like some of the bits I've got already. This is huge box number one. This is one of his beds. That's gonna go in the corner of my room. This is his water bowl. Although I've seen lots of people um, talking about water fountains for them, so I might get him one of those, but not yet. Anyway, bags to put his poo in when I'm cleaning the litter box because I read this article about how like flushing cat poo down the toilet is really really bad so I'm gonna be bagging it in there before I put it in the usual waste bin and then I got this litter tray in the beginning um because I'm just not sure how small he's gonna be although I have got like two other ones since so I may just like drop this off at the charity shop if I don't use it um depends on how small he is that's one thing i haven't grasped yet i don't know how big he's gonna be because the other two little boxes i've got are quite massive so if he is quite little i'll use this if not if he can manage the other ones i'll just give this away this was another bed that i got for him a tunnel to play with and um, scratching post with or scratching board with some balls in a towel in case i have to wash him and i don't know about the flea situation yet so we'll see when i get in uh, this is just in case I do have to give him a bath. Um, scratching post, some bowls. I've got a lot of these bowls in um, cream and grey. Does it want to focus? I've got like, a little fish pan and it's ceramic and it's nice. I've got it in cream and this grey colour. And then a little freshener as well. This is a box number one. It's another massive box <laughs> I need to bring up to my room as well. He's going to be like chilling in here to begin with and then depending on what his personality is like, we'll have to see. Because I've literally watched like every bringing home a kitten vlog and for some people they like brought their kittens home and they were really like friendly and really comfortable straight away but some brought their kittens home and they were like literally shook and like scared for days so I just want to prepare for like both scenarios if he is really chill and uh, he can come around the house but if he's quite shy on the first day then he can just have like a base camp in my room to start with. So this was the other litter tray that I was on about. This is like the big hooded one that will go in the bathroom, which again, is quite massive compared to this little one. So yeah, if you can climb into this to begin with, great. But if not, worst case scenario, there is this one. I have never seen like one of these puppy pad things before that girl's video. So I don't know what I'm doing with these. Oh, this is not how I imagined they would look, but okay. Toys. 
I really like this like natural looking range. So this is where I've got most of his stuff, but I think this is the vibe I might go for as he grows a bit bigger. I'm debating whether to get another scratch for now. I mean, he doesn't need another scratcher, but I'm just so... Oh, every time I come here, I feel like I can't leave without grabbing something else. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, let's have a look. I want to get him a flat scratcher because I've got that one and I've got this one, but I want to get like a bigger, a bigger sort of one that's like cardboard. Maybe I'll get this one. Eight pounds. Okay, so this one is eight pounds. And how much is that one? Nine pounds, but that comes with the balls and stuff. Yeah, this is nine pounds and it's a lot bigger. So I think I'll get this one. I also got this kicker toy because that's one thing that hasn't arrived yet. The kicker toy that I've got for him. And this one looks really cute. Here he is. Say hi, Mona. Are you sleepy? He's so tiny. I don't think it shows it right now in the film, but he's so little. way out of the carry case he went under my bed and I literally had to take a step back and barricade everything a bit more so I did put a few things in place thinking oh yeah he won't be that small but he's so much smaller than I imagined so he can literally get in anywhere so yeah I had to quickly drag him out from under my bed I put his food out and he ate very quickly and he ate very well Sorry, I'm looking down because he's like by my feet right now. Let me flip it over. He's like here just investigating. He's trying to get back underneath the bed, but sorry, sweetie, you can't go under there because mummy won't find you. He went so deep under my bed because my bed's in the corner and it's king size, so it's not like I can just slide under and grab him. It's a mission to get him if he escapes. Please don't tell me he went underneath. I thought I barricaded it enough. Huh? Apparently I did not. Sneaky, sneaky boy. A bit later in the afternoon, it's about one-ish now. I do wonder if you'll feel comfortable enough to sleep. He's just a bit active at the moment. And he's used the litter box. I'm so, I'm like a proud mum. Cause um, that's another thing people said that sometimes they don't use the litter box right away. Um, But he peed. So I'm so proud of my baby boy. Let's have a look for him now. Oh. In the meantime, while he's playing, under the bed. I'm going to assemble this scratching post that I got from Pets at Home.
day now. We both enjoyed a good nap. Well, I napped on my bed. He napped under my bed. He likes, I think, the dark and having like a hidden space. So he's just been under the bed. I did try to like block off parts so he can't go too deep, but he was enjoying exploring back there um, with all the underbed storage obstacle course. So it's not dangerous because like everything is covered and he can't get lost because it's all covered just containers under there. But yeah, he seems to be having a blast. We enjoyed some good playtime. It's funny, all the toys out there, but he really, really loves this string toy. Um, that I got from Wilco and yeah we were playing with that for ages he enjoyed some more food and he's weed again he hasn't pooed yet so that's the only thing I'm just keeping an eye on just to make sure he's fully functioning well and there's nothing to worry about what is he up to? I can just hear rustling <laughs> he's out from under the bed I just still can't get over how tiny he is like, I knew he was going to be tiny, but it just didn't register to me that he'd be this small. If I, I mean, he doesn't fit under there, thank goodness, so I don't have more places to lose him. But I'm definitely going to just be keeping him in my room for the time being. I think he's figured out that this string is what controls the toy. So it's quite a bit later in the evening now. Apologies for the lighting. I don't want to bring my ring light in here because I'm trying to keep like this place as clear as possible for him for the time being. He's just finished having a nap, ate a bit more, now we're playing, and he finally did his first poo. So I'm a bit more relaxed now because he's like functioning fine, eating well, drinking well, and going to toilet well. So yeah, good sign so far. I'm going to book him in for the vet next week. I did pop down there. And they said they have to be nine weeks um, for their first checkup and shots and stuff. So I'm going to book that in. And I think we need to build his cat tree because I can see he's like just itching to move around. He's got so much energy. So I'm going to build his other bed and build his cat tree. He's just chilling down here, having a little groom. Hello, you. Mama. He doesn't know his name yet. Also, I don't think I formally introduced him. So this is Momo. Isaac, <laughs> Trinidad, James Jr. of OK. So <laughs> I've named him Momo, um, short for Moshope. He's Nigerian, of course. Isaac is a middle name from my mum. And Trinidad, James Jr. is a name from my brother. I, I don't know where or why. Um, that had to be my cat's name, but fine. So <laughs> we're going to call him Momo for short for Moshope, but his full name is um, Momo, Isaac, okay.
see is this little bed spread. This is a the pillow. This is a Gusty mattress. It's even slightly padded, which is cute. Although I'm going to put another blanket on it just to soften the whole thing up. And the pillow, how cute. That's right, you just destroy my slippers here. So, that pile of stuff there is soon going to be his catchery. So, I better get started now before he wakes up from his nap. Scratch that, he's awake, so he's going to help mummy build his cat tree. He's the best little helper helping his mother build the cat tree. Thank you. I think it's safe to say he approves. And that concludes my bringing home my kitten vlog. Thanks so much for watching and if you haven't already please subscribe so you can see more from me and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. My next video would be my new kitten haul so if you want to see all the bits that I got and more in-depth reviews of things he's actually been using um, then I'll do that in my next video and yeah I'm hoping to do like sort of weekly updates because a lot of the videos I watched we saw the new kitten and that was it so hopefully I'll be able to give like regular updates so you can see what Momo's up to. He's got his first vet visit coming up as well well so I'll definitely be vlogging that and yes hopefully I will see you in the next one if you're getting a kitten too if you're like me and we're watching every single getting my kitten vlog just before your kitten comes comment below let me know what you're gonna name your kitten let me know what color kitten you're getting just share the excitement with me and hopefully I will see you in the next one thanks so much bye